kilometers northeast of Halifax, Nova Scotia, is one of North America's finest short tracks. Riverside International Speedway in Antigonish is a lightning quick third mile high bank speed plan. Owned by the Chisholm family and modeled after Bristol Motor Speedway, this stop is always a favorite of the race teams. DJ Kennington arrived at Riverside with a sole purpose, to prove that he can compete and win. The Castro Edge Dodge team had revamped their engine program and worked tirelessly on chassis setup. And their efforts paid off as Kennington set a new track qualifying record. Pace car is in looking for the green here at Riverside Speedway. It's up and we're underway. The Mopar stablemates took an early command of the lead. The number 27 of Ranger collected valuable bonus points for leading a lap, while Kennington truly dominated the high bank. Points leader Steckley was not enjoying his typical Riverside run. His Canadian tire Dodge was bottoming out. You want me to keep going or what? Four, four, inside. And Steckley voiced concerns as his number 22 car slid backward through the field. We just, we started our tire pressures a wee bit too low. And, and we were worried about getting a hole in our oil pan because the car was really dragging the race track hard. And I was just, I was driving it slower, so I didn't get a hole in the oil pan, and cars were going by me and by me and by me. And... Yeah, that was weird. That was weird at the beginning. I passed Scott right away and got going, and I looked in the mirror, and he was falling back, and, you know, DJ and Ranger were up front, and I'm like, okay, well, these two are going to let each other lead a little bit and get some points for Ranger and so on, and then... Uh, Scott, all of a sudden I look again and Scott's in my mirror passing me. I'm like, well, where'd he come from? The maritime racing contingent was strong for the Wounded Warriors Canada 300. Regular NASCAR runner and track owner Donald Chisholm had his number 89 Chevrolet in contention, while Halifax's DJ Casey in the number 10 enjoyed his first taste of NASCAR. Josh Collins in the number 87 CBRT entry made series history by becoming Newfoundland's first NASCAR driver. That was a big deal for us because, like I said, no one from the province ever done it, and uh, Patty Squires and all them, and everybody was behind us, so it was, it was definitely something different. It was a big step for us, for sure. After leading for 32 laps, disaster struck for Kennington. As he crossed the finish line on lap 40, the motor let go in his Dodge, ending his streak of 69 races without a DNF. Really happy with it, leading the race, everything going the way we want to, and no sign, no nothing, just lost an engine. Um, you start doubting yourself, doubting the whole thing. You start asking yourself, uh, maybe I'm just not driving hard enough anymore. Maybe I'm getting too old. Um, you just start asking yourself all these questions because you want to win so bad. That just put it all back into perspective that we got a great race team, we got great race cars, we got great sponsors, and we are a team to be reckoned with. After a long track cleanup, Mark Dilley in his Leland Johnsonville Ford held the lead for 61 laps. Once tire pressures came up, Steckley's 22 Dodge was in a league of its own. The Milverton Express was on rails as he lapped cars one after another and was clearly relishing a great day at the office. Yeah, that, it was just, you know, kind of a joke. I just asked him for his opinion and uh, he said, get going. So that's what I did. We went and, and we got a long, long green flag running and it all worked out. Off of turn number two and the car is on a rail like it has been the entire second half of this race. And Scott Stedley comes home with wing number 19. You get out of the car there, the, the banking and the straightaway so much, it's, it's hard getting out of the car. And then you look up in the fans and it's like, for us, it's like Bristol. The crowd is just... It's amazing, it's, uh, it's a great race track. Steckley's inability to close the deal on a road course win at the start of the year could have sealed his fate early if he'd let it. But a lot of hard work combined with immense talent and a late smattering of good luck put him in control of the championship with just two races to go. An astonishing run of momentum delivered 1,042 laps led, 800 more than his closest rival. The Dodge they nicknamed Springsteen was rocking out. This is the 2015 NASCAR Canadian Tire Series year in review, powered by...